Hello and welcome to the Eric Kamadeka Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined with Stevenson Track and Field Head Coach Eric Kamadeka. Coach, uh, first of all, congratulations. Um, great, great weekend for your program. The men take home their first ever uh, MAC championship and the women finish second. So uh, just talk about how it feels to um, be successful on both sides. Uh, relieved right now, you know, all that hard work that we put in, you know, for the four years that I got here has, has finally paid off. So that's really, really exciting. Um, it's just nice to be able to take a step back and, and take it all in and, and enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Um, the men's side, obviously, you know, you know the, the coaches poll that came out before said it was going to be a nail-biter, and it was. Um, you guys won by two points over Widener. It came down to the last event. Um, talk about that last event and the emotions that – you and I'm sure the whole team were going through. Yeah, it was it was rough. You know, at that point we knew the woman finished second, and that was really exciting. You know, we weren't expecting that, and the men's competition was a lot closer than we anticipated. We knew it was going to be close, um, but a couple things happened throughout the meet. You know, we got DQ'd in the heptathlon in the last event, and that cost us six points there, and that was that was tough. And then yeah. there was about three more events going on in the track. You know, pole vault uh, wrapped up. We didn't score any points there. Yeah. Uh, the shot put didn't go the way we did, and so they got a lot more points than uh, we anticipated. Mm-hmm. And then it did. It came down to that that high jump and the way things were going. You know, Ryder had two guys left right. at that point. We were only up by nine. I was like, man, this is going to be tough. So you know, yeah. we're sitting there thinking about, you know, we we battled really hard. This was close, and thinking that you know we didn't have a chance anymore. And then, you know, it winds up that Coach Roger comes up to me. He's like, I think we got this thing by a point or two. And it just it happened that, you know, uh, Clement was able to f- take a sixth-place finish, get those three points and put us up by two and, you know, walk away with the championship. Yeah, obviously, obviously very exciting. Like you said, just kind of, you know, comes down to the wire. And, you know, but there are other events, you know, like the 60-meter dash where you had six guys in the final and, you know, that, that had to be impressive, you know, watching that meet with yeah. six, six guys all with your uniform on. I mean, that, that was. That was really impressive to have that. You know, we put six guys in that event, and all six guys made the finals, which is just really impressive, and, you know, it's exciting. But, you know, we just it's not fair for us that, or for me to really single out any event group or anything because this yeah. was a total team effort. You know, I can't really – I wouldn't have to name every single guy on the team. Yeah, absolutely. Because everyone put it all out there on the line. Yeah. Then the women's side, um, you know, obviously second-place finish and um, – you know, kind of talk about that and kind of the progress the women's program has made. Yeah, you know, last year and the past couple of years, the women's throwers have always been carrying us, and they did it once again, you know, coming out with like 40-some points uh, between the shot put and – and the weight throw, you know, Allison Bishop had a great meet, um, especially in that weight throw. She went from someone who didn't even make the finals last year in the weight to ended up winning it and setting a school record. Um, Danica finally came through and, and had a big throw in that shot put. Um, and then Kimberly Hammond, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize where all these points came from, us finishing second. Kimberly Hammond had a fantastic meet. She was responsible for over 30-some points, uh, winning the the 60, won the 200 out of the slow heat. She wasn't yeah. even in the fast heat and was able to sneak through there and did a really a good job and then finishing second place in the long jump and then you know Dion Hicks had a, a ton of points and Rachel Panic finishing as the rookie of the year really carried that woman's team through yeah certainly an impressive performance like you said a lot of a lot of athletes will be back you know obviously for outdoor and then obviously you know for next year so you know certainly the future very very bright absolutely, absolutely. Um, now you kind of shift gears this week um, you go to ECACs up at the armory um, kind of what are your goals going into that meet uh, you know, we're trying to get someone out to nationals. We have a lot of people who are on the verge. Um, you know, Derek Davis now put himself in conversation. Kendall Belzer put himself in conversation, along with Matt Riggins, Aaron Holiday. You know, all those 60-meter guys are there. Um, on the women's side, I think Kimberly Hammond has a really good shot. Maybe Rachel um, Richie in the multi may have a yeah. shot. So, you know, that's kind of where we're going right now. You know, we're going to end this indoor season possibly this weekend or continue on, depending on, on what happens. Yeah, not as much – pressure in terms of trying to win the team championship so a little bit individuals can kind of concentrate a little bit more on getting their mark to get out to nationals exactly yeah we're not going to really worry about the team score this weekend you know we're going to hold some people back from a lot of the events that they did qualify in just to let them focus on their main event to try to see how where they can get to the next level or at least hit that personal best mark yeah absolutely all right coach we wish you and your athletes the best of luck this uh, this weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Great. Thank you very much. All right. For Eric Kamadeka, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.